up, guys? Got another one to show off. This is going out to Judson. This is the first build he's got from me. He went with a antique brass case. The rest done in antique bronze. And then we did a custom dial that was Horus-esque. Um, Cerakoted in pink and in... I don't know what kind of blue you'd want to call that, but just a good looking high contrast blue. And then I did some custom painted brass uh, hands. So they were silver. We stripped them down, uh, repainted them, and then uh, relimed them. So antique uh, bronze cerakoted crown. This little custom ice cream engraving there. Uh, engineered band and bezel and then obviously the clasp custom engraved for Judd low profile exhibition case back in there stainless steel movement holder and a bead blasted brass rotor in there and then this is on uh, quick disconnects so if you ever go to a leather um, simple enough and with these straight areas right across it fits leathers pretty nicely without any kind of rubbing. And that is your build, sir. Every build I reference that the bezel will turn left, it'll turn right. It is not a clickable style bezel. It is on there decently tight because you have the Cerakote. Uh, so it won't move unless you really want it to move. Uh, automatic mechanical so you can wind it you can wear it you can put it in a watch winder but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active make sure you wind it just a little bit to make sure you don't lose time throughout the day how you do that is you back the crown off of the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking you'll feel a little bit of play and you'll hear it clicking at that point you can wind and a wind is a turn away from you turning it towards you doesn't do anything but it's a lot easier to keep your finger spacing and just go back and forth so if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time throughout the day because that'll be mixed with your rotor movement. If you do it for something closer to 15 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. You can wind this all day if you'd like. When you're happy with your winding, you're going to pull it to the one and only click. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. You'll also notice... You've got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So if you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure on the movement. So if you just slightly pull on it, you won't even feel that. But if you're in closer, you will feel that it moves around like a little ball joint. Okay, Google, what time is it? 12.25 p.m. When you're good, push it over, get it out of that... Uh, time setting and then wind it down there's your build sir as with every build it's going to come with matching beads which it was a little tough to match this out but uh, entirely up to you whether you wear those or not but it's a lot cooler when you do because it uh, goes together decent as with every build you're going to get Watch cleaner, this is good on all glass and metal parts. This watch as a whole, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. You're also going to get some fine scratch remover. You've got an acrylic glass, and you can scratch it, but if you do, no worries. Put a tiny bit of this on it and buff against it using your included microfiber. Uh, it's like Poly Watch. This is Novus 2 from Amazon. Just buff against the scratch, so if it's going up and down, Put a little bit on there, go left and right, and just keep buffing it, filling that scratch, and then polish it out. Now, try not to scratch the Cerakote. Um, this is, you know, bead blasted, then it's applied, then it's baked in. But it is kind of like car paint, so you can scratch your car, you can scratch this. But if you would get a small scuff or something like that, um, use gun oil and buff with some gun oil. A lot of times... It will act just the same as if you would, you know, hurt. Uh, I don't know what the hell that was. It will act like if um, you're fixing some clear coat. 
So uh, as long as it's not super deep, some gun oil might buff out any issue you have. So that is the build. I'm gonna come to you in custom BVW box. And uh, I appreciate you a ton, man. I hope to make you more watches and I hope you love this watch. So uh, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks for watching, guys.